Hey all, it's me, Cinnamon. Today I'm going to be talking about trading and selling things in the market. So basically this video will be like me giving you tips and tricks on how to navigate the market and trading while I am currently trying to get resources and horses in Wild Horse Islands. So let's start off with the trading. Oh, I forgot to mention I will be having auto captions too in this video so it's easier to follow along with what I'm saying. So when it comes to trading, you have to be careful with how you trade. People will often try to scam you, try to get you to overpay, like all those things. So I'm going to give you some tips and tricks I know to help you with that. My first tip is knowing what you're worth. If you want to trade something, have a clear offer of what you want in your mind. So saying you're like trading an event horse and you want a unique coat, just go for the unique coat then. Because what I'll see a lot of times is when people are tracing for a specific thing, a lot of people will come to them and be like, hey, like, I'll trade you this, this, and this for that horse. Like, if you really want that horse you're trying to get, you need to put your foot down and say, like, no. Like, it, like I mean, like, unless the offer is good and you do want those horses the person's offering, then, like, go ahead. But, like, if you really want the horse that you're training for badly, then just turn down the other people's offers. Like, it's totally fine. It's not like it being impolite. Like, you have an agenda. You're going to stick to it. For example, the other day, I was trying to get a Springer wrap, and I kept putting my offer in the chat, like, saying, like, PM me or, like, say ABC if you want to do the offer. And the thing is, people put ABC and, like, private message me, but they didn't have a Springer wrap. They wanted to offer for my stuff, and, like, that wasn't what I was putting in the chat. So I said no to them and a lot of people just got angry and it's just like like I'm putting in the chat my offer and I only want one thing. I'm not going to take other things. My next tip has to go with this. If you see someone in the chat like saying like ABC, like I'm trading this, this, and this for some horse, like yes, you can try to offer for their horse, but they might turn you down because that's not what they wanted in the end. Which is totally fine. And like if you do trade people like in one to like offer the horses that they're trading for something else, it's totally fine that they decline. So like just be prepared for that. So those first two tips did go together. So the next one I'm talking about are common scams to look out for. The first scam is the I'm quitting Wild Horse Island scam. It's where the person is being like, I'm going to Wild Horse Islands, I'm giving away free horses, like, come to my island. And then when you get there, they're like, hey, like, pay me this amount of money and I'll give you the horses. If they really were quitting, they wouldn't have you pay anything because that money wouldn't have been spent. So, if you do see someone playing the chat like, hey, I'm quitting a Wild Horse Islands, go check it out first. But if they ask you for a horse or, like, money, then just say no. Because they aren't really quitting and most likely it could be a scam. The next scam are trust trades. I don't really get the point of them. Maybe that's because they are actual scams. So trust trades, it's kind of like a normal trade, but like you give your item first and then they give them a separate trade. It's two separate trades. I would never do that. If you are trading someone, just do it in one full trade. Like do not ever do trust trades because once you get a horse away, that person can just leave the server with your horse. And that's what happens most of the time. Also, like, I'm just saying across the board, if it's a trade and someone wants to do two separate trades, just never do it. Only do one full complete trade. So, like, one full transaction, meaning, like, you give the person the horse and they give you the horse at the same time. Because if it's two separate things, then you can't guarantee that you won't be scammed. Now that we've gone over trust trades, now we're going over borrowing horses. I wouldn't do this unless you know the person in real life. Like, if, say, if it's someone I know in real life and, like, I see them all the time, then maybe, yeah, I'll let them borrow the horse because I can find them easily. It's not, like, online where they can unfriend you and block you. Like, if it's a real person you know in real life, then you can easily find them and demand your horse back. So, I wouldn't find the problem there. I still wouldn't do it, though, because it's still risky. But, like, borrowing horses, like, overall, like, you really shouldn't be doing that because... There are people that are trying to, like, scam, like, hey, like, can I borrow your horse and ride it real quick for some pictures? Then once they get the horse, they leave. Or, like, say, like, hey, I need to borrow your horse for breeding real quick. They take the horse, they leave. Like, it just happens all the time. Like, I'll be in servers, people would be doing that, I'll try to get to them, be like, hey, like, don't do that, you're gonna lose your horse forever. And then the person would be like, ha, like, watch this, like, they're not gonna scam me. And then the person will just leave the server. I'm like, mm, try to warn you. So just never let anyone borrow your horse. Okay, so now that we got over some common scams, let's go over some more tips. My first tip is never to judge by the avatar or the horse someone has out. This actually happened to me once. 
so i was just chilling someone was training free like it was like a normal cross coat like it was a like pretty common coat on a free i'm like oh, i'll just offer i go to the person i'm like hey like, can i offer and they're like no i'm like why like i haven't seen your offer and they're like look you're riding a paint horse and i'm like um yeah i actually do have really good horses and they still wouldn't let me do the trade so i kind of flex i know flexing is not the greatest thing to do but i mean it was kind of bad i was like really you're not gonna trade me <laughs> well because i have a horse out i'm like i really so like never judge someone based off of their avatar like say if someone doesn't have like a robux avatar too like they don't have any robux so they have like the normal avatar like do not judge them either because like what you have in game doesn't come from money I, I i mean when you have a gambling problem like me yeah it, it does come from money but um like if you just like play the game normally like you can have like really good horses because like i've traded with people that haven't had like any robux before and i've gone like pretty good trades like people do have really good horses if they do not have robux avatars so never judge someone based on how they look you know my next tip I'm going to share with you is let people finish adding. Like, just tell the person you're trading, like, hey, like, when you're done, can you tell me you're done adding? Because, like, people will be mid-adding, and, like, if you decline, you don't see, like, what they have, like, that's good. And, like, once you know, like, they're done adding, you'll have, like, the full entire offer right there. So, like, at that point, you can decide if you want to accept or decline. You can also negotiate with this person, like, say, like, hey, can you switch this horse out for that horse? Or, like, oh, like, I already have that coat, like, can you get another horse instead? Like, that's when you can negotiate and you can get a better trade. Also, at that point, too, if you decline and, like, someone pulls, like, a very, like, really rare horse, like, I was gonna add this. Well, like, no, you weren't because you told me you were done adding. So, that way, like, you can tell when people are actually telling the truth about that and, like, when people are not telling the truth my next tip about trading is about waiting so say you're about to trade with someone and they're like oh like, give me time to think about it like after a minute or two you need to get back to them and demand an answer because like i want to have my guys wait i'm like okay i'm just gonna be patient i'm gonna let this person wait i wait an hour just for a uh, no so like don't wait an hour because that's what's wasting your time you're holding that offer and then like you could have traded other things while you're waiting so just like give them like a minute or two and then say like okay like have you made your decision so then like you can be like done with it because then like you don't have to wait there for an hour and also like some people too will just do that to waste your time because i've literally like caught people talking in servers about like how much time they wasted on other people and it's just like really like like that's like very inconsiderate of other people's time so like always like demand an answer in one to two minutes because like some people will just like sit there for hours and just like let you like there get their your like hopes up and then they're like no for my next train tip is talking about like overpaying and underpaying so i see a lot of people saying like when someone says like oh like i'm overpaying that like they're lying they're underpaying but actually that can be true sometimes like someone will be like overpaying and be like hey like wait a minute like, i'm overpaying like can you add things like that can very much well be true for example someone wanted me to trade 100 percent pure monarch perch thunderstorm thoroughbred just for a common fjord i'm just like no like that's overpaying i'm not going to do that and they're like, well, you don't understand, like, this is a Robux fjord, you can only get with Robux. I'm like, that doesn't exist in the game. So just be very careful about that. Like, if you know, like, you're overpaying, like, just tell the other person that, because sometimes they will be trying to work at angle, and, like, they'll be trying to get you to pay them, like, more. But at the same time, like, they might not know that, like, you're overpaying, and they might have been the person that got lied to, like, that was, like, a Robux Fjord, you know, like, so maybe, the, the, like, they were told that, so they don't know about that, so then that would be the time, like, you could tell them that, but, like, always be careful, like, know what your horses are worth, like, maybe, like, ask a couple people, like, hey, like, do you know how much this horse is worth? Like, don't ask that to the person you're trading, because, so, of course, like, the person might try to work an angle and be like, oh, like, it's not, like, worth anything when it could be, like, worth a lot, so, like, always ask a couple people in server, like, you know how much this is worth? Like, don't, like, trade them. Just, like, ask them. Because then people are, like, more likely to be truthful. Okay, now that we are done with all the train tips, now it's time for the market tips. So, when it comes to the market, there's a lot of controversy. So, like, people will go there and be like, hey, like, you're overpaying by a lot. And people are like, oh, like, you're underpaying and all that. Like, people do not know what the, like, 
the specific amount is. It's kind of was made by the community. Like, the game doesn't tell you, like, hey, like, this is how much you should sell it for, blah, 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 blah. It's kind of made by the community. So there's people that, like, want a lot of money for their things, people that want a little bit of money. So the best tip about this is sell it for what you want it to sell it for. Like, if someone says, like, oh, you're overpaying, or, like, oh, it gets under, like, just don't change the price. Like, if you really want to sell at that price, like, you will find someone that will buy it for that price. For example, I was selling seasonal limiteds, and I had them for sale for around, like, 2k, which I felt was reasonable for me. And I had a bunch of people telling me that, like, hey, like, that's too much, like, you need to change the prices, and, like, they, like, demand me to lower the prices so they can buy it. And I just said no, I didn't back down, and a couple, like, minutes later, someone bought it. So, like, do not lower your prices, because sometimes people will be trying to work at angle, and I know I say I'm that a lot, but, like, it's very much true. People will try to get things for cheaper, try to get things for less. It's really how, like, people get richer. Because, like, if you put out the same amount of stuff that you're getting, you don't get richer. So a lot of people will try to get things for cheaper. So, like, my tips and tricks for this video are telling you not how to, like, get poorer, but, like, stay as rich as you are. So, like, these tips are, like, to teach you, like, how to not lose more. Because, like, if you do not know, like, your horse is worth or, like, if someone does get you to lower the prices and all that, like, you're losing money right there. You're losing possible good horses right there. So I'm teaching you, like, how to not do that. Because, like, no one wants to lose valuable horses they can get a lot more for. But, yeah, like, overall, like, my main tip for the markets is put the price that you feel right with. Don't lower it for anyone. So back to the trading tips, I guess, because really that was like the only tip I have for the markets is like do not lower your price because like the markets are very hard to navigate. So like the only thing that you can do to make it feel right for you is putting out the price you want it at. So right back to the trading tips. My first trading tip of the second part of trading tips, I guess, <laughs> is don't add more horses if someone says their horse is personal to them because... The horse being personal to someone doesn't mean anything to you, you know, because like if someone's like, oh, like I don't feel good training this horse because it's personal to me. Can you add more that doesn't up the value of the horse? Because like for you, you're getting the horse and for other people, people won't know that if it's personal or not because they don't have the same feelings for that horse. Another thing too, like I feel like people that say like, oh, this horse is very personal to me. You have to add more are faking it because the horse was really personal to them. They wouldn't have added it in the trade in the first place. If you understand what I'm trying to say. Now, I'm not saying like this could be true for someone that like actually does like feel very personal for the horse, but that's not your problem. If the person is like very personal with that horse, because at the end of the day, you're just trying to get that horse and it has no like more like emotional value to you. I hope all that makes sense. Also, another thing is the people that want you to keep adding. So, like, say if you have horses in the trade and you feel like it's good enough for the horse that, like, they have, and they want you to keep adding, you're allowed to put your foot down and be like, hey, like, I'm not going to add anymore. So, like, are you going to do this trade or not? Because, like, if you do not want to add more and you feel like you hit the mount or, like, where, like, it's all good, then you shouldn't have to add any more. And this is it for my market and trading tips and tricks. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all next time. So make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you all next time. Bye.